good day and welcome to my youtube channel in this in this tutorial we are going to be working on the meaning minimum and the maxi maximum on our previous lecture we talked about how to on the how to references the absolute and the and the relative value on the zero. Now today we are going to be talking about how to terminate the minimum range of cell and the maximum range of cell. So in that in other words, for you to for you to go about this, so we are going to use a maximum for maximum function and as well the the minimum function in a zero worksheet. Alright, let's try to work on that. The first step is try type the max below the, the description here. Let me correct the description here. Okay. Then you can put okay let me work on the minimum first then the maximum follow all right in order to know the the minimum value from this range of cells now so what we are going to do now is so click on below the cell here if you could still remember on this uh, formula bar we make use of this mass and trick to be able to determine some various uh, basic functions in the uh, formula functions in the zero, but in a, in a situation whereby you, you don't want to be stressing yourself by looking for where the maximum or minimum is, you can as well make use of this insert function at the left hand side of the it's a worksheet here. Yeah. You can see that type brief description of what you want to do and click go in my own case and i want to i'm looking for the minimum hmm? minimum click on go you can see the minimum the minimum function came up click on it you can see it's showing you that the number one is c3 c3 here the self c3 if you could see remember we talk about the referencing itself the on the so c3 5 c5 3 to c12 c12 is telling you that are you are you looking for the value between c3 to c12 in my own case it's no proof so to tell the observer that you have to tell your data that you the range where the range of cell you are looking for. So I'll click on this, then you drag it down. Now see, I'll be able to say the that um the range of say I'm looking for the minimum value is from C3 to C9. Okay, click go. And see that it has been able to tell you that the minimum value on this range of cell is four. Yeah. If you want to, in, to, to, you can as well do the same as the same way in other other months. Yeah, February, March, April. But in order to make it work faster, you can just drag it down here. You see, so it will make it will actually make your work very easier. On this column here, yes, the minimum value here is three. On this column, the minimum value is three. And okay, three. And as well here, the minimum value here is two. Here also here, the minimum value here is what? 12 percent. Now let's go to maximum range of cell or maximum value. If you want to know for the maximum value here, you can as well follow the same process. Go to the format tab here, click on functions, then type maximum max. So click on go. You can see that it's 
doing maximum functions here just click on now on this maximum function here each range of says am i looking for the uh, what maximum function i'm looking for the maximum function maximum value here so just click on it you have to tell you say what you actually want so click drag it down so i'll be able to tell you there that from c3 to c9 so she be able to tell me the maximum value in that column click you can see that 13 is the maximum value here and minimum value on this in this January here it was is what four we can as well drag down to this place in order, in order to make your work faster thank you very much don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you bye